The Euro League might not be quite as world renowned as the NBA, but what it does have going for it is that there's more countries involved. It stretches from the Baltic to the Balkans and beyond. There's also a wider variety of venues, as you would expect. And within the arenas is a significantly more intense atmosphere. So, with that being said, here are the Euro League arenas. Mercedes-Benz Arena As you enter this venue, you're greeted by a huge glass facade, which is always a good thing, unless you're a bird of course. I'm always seeing emus flying into windows. Fittingly, given its name, there's an emphasis on luxury here, with plenty of premium seating, as well as this pretty big octagonal video board. Sinan Erdem Dome this one has been home to numerous basketball teams over the years. Anadolu FS arrived in 2017. The venue was renovated extensively prior to their arrival. The eagle-eyed amongst you may have already noticed that there is actually a small section of terracing. That's interesting. But even more so is the video board set up up there. Palau Blau Grana Much like their football counterparts, Barcelona's basketball venue is a little dull on the outside. In fact, the entire arena is well past its best and will be demolished in the near future. But for now, it's still a decent venue. I like how that frame suspended from the roof that supports the video board dips below the top row of seats. Audi Dome. This one shares a vague resemblance to the club's football stadium. I'm gonna assume that was intentional. We've got a rounded seating bowl, so the seating doesn't quite come as close to the court as you'd want. But at least that means no old ladies getting KO'd by seven footers flinging themselves into the crowd. Actually, no, that is kind of funny. Buesa Arena. Wow, that is unique. Wait, what the f*** is that? Oh, I thought it was levitating for a second there. Anyway, this place looks incredible, both inside and out. We saw an octagonal video board earlier, but it's even more ideal here given the octagonal seating layout, which is more common in tennis stadiums. Stark Arena This one has a grandiose, almost ominous looking exterior, a stark contrast from the last one. When you look inside it comes as no surprise that it's nearly the biggest venue in the league. Given the intensity of the two clubs' rivalry, I wouldn't be surprised if the local derby was the most intense atmosphere in basketball. One of the Belgrade clubs also plays at Alexander Nikolic Hall, which is perhaps the less impressive of the two, but it's named after a Serbian legend. Not Nikola Jokic, but Nikolic. Exterior looks incredible. It is slightly more conventional on the inside, but not by much. Fresh off a facelift in 2019, it's looking good. Medio Lanum Forum. Exterior here shares a lot of similarities with the last one, except it shares even more similarities with a post-apocalyptic fortress. I'd imagine it divides local opinion, but on the inside, it's almost a bit of an anti-climax, a completely normal basketball arena. A pretty good one though. Ulka Sports and Events Hall The club's football stadium also has Ulka as the title sponsor. Cookie sales must be on the up. Anyway, this might be the closest so far to an NBA arena, characterized by a fairly standard symmetrical seating layout, but with a very impressive video board, probably the biggest in the league. Astrobal it has quite a plain and simple facade, but it's all white. The interior is definitely where this venue shines. It is incredibly compact, and due to the steep seating, all the spectators are right on top of the court. I mean, people sitting in their top row could probably spit on the players. Don't do that, that's gross. But that's how close everyone is. Menora Miftachi Marina. Israel isn't in Europe, of course. But obviously they're not going to be joining in the Arab League anytime soon, primarily because it doesn't exist. For whatever reason, this one has a very elongated oval seating bowl, so that's not ideal. 
The best feature is probably that 360 degree cube like video board. Sal Gaston Medesson. No, they're not playing at a football stadium, there is in fact an arena underneath it. It is unsurprisingly the smallest arena in the league. The rim is basically halfway to the ceiling. Speaking of which, it looks kinda cool. Most architects try to make the roof as light as possible. They've got a stadium for a roof, so probably need some extra reinforcement. Peace and Friendship Stadium. Ooh, that name might ruffle a few feathers. Peace and Friendship, we can't be having that. It opened in the 80s, which must have been A, when Pringles rose to prominence, and B, before they knew the dimensions of a basketball court, because it's huge in here. It was actually used for indoor athletics in the past, so that's why. OACA Olympic Indoor Hall. Yet again, we have another distinctive design that isn't seen anywhere else, except for right next door. It was used for basketball at the 2004 Olympics, as you might expect. It's also the largest arena in the league, so it has a lot to brag about. Come to think of it, when Olympiakos comes to play here, that might be the loudest atmosphere in basketball. Wizink Center. This is technically the oldest arena in the league, having opened in 1960, with a then very futuristic design. But after a horrific fire in the early 2000s, it had to undergo a rebuild that transformed it into what it is today. It has an extraordinary seating configuration, especially all those balconies way up there. La Fonteta. That is one of the least impressive exteriors we've seen. But the orange looks good, I'll give them that. There's plenty more of it on the inside as well, and it's illuminated in the day by a natural light, due to the unusual roof. Oh yeah, Valencia oranges, that's why they're orange probably. I've always said, you should never underestimate the value of fruit-based synchronicity. Sega Fredo Arena. Bologna, the home of Europe's oldest university, is home to the league's newest venue. Also Bolognese is from here. It's in the name. Although it's nice and shiny, it's only a temporary venue. The stands can be disassembled and moved to anywhere with enough room. Still a solid venue. Built on an island in the Neman River is Algirio Arena. You'll notice that the facade is quite rusty. I think it looks great. I wouldn't be quite as positive if I was boarding a plane that looked like that, but this is clearly intentional. I'm fairly sure Lithuania is the only country in Europe where basketball is the most popular sport, and you can sort of see that in the fact that this arena has about the same capacity as the local football stadium. And that's it for today's video, if you enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Perhaps we'll cover some other European leagues in the future. Thanks for watching, have a good one.